In this movie, I'm going to show you how to place an implant. In Access Guide, you need to go to Plan, you go to Implant Plus, and you will be able to add an implant. In this case, we're going to add an implant in position 46. I click here, I go to Standard Implants, I select my favorite implant brand, my favorite implant uh, family, and the size. It's a big tube, so in this case I will choose something like uh, 4.75 by 10. When I click, I see the implant on the upper right side, which is moving around. I can double click or I can validate. If you've been doing several cases, so for this tube, you will see up to 10 options without needing to go inside this list and you will be able to select it directly from here. If you do not have your brand which is selected here, you can add a generic implant and doing that you will be able to add whatever kind of implant in diameter and length you are using. You validate and then you can click wherever you want in 2D in 2D, in 3D, whether you want, you click on top of the bone and you have your implant which is in place. It's not fully adapted, so you will need to adapt it. To do that, I'm going to show you in full how we do it. You go across the implant, you can move it around. If you go at the bottom, then you can rotate the implant from the top or from the bottom. And then placing that, you know, if you're going to work at the level of the bone or supra uh, osseous level, and you select that, you click here, and you have your implant, let's say in 3D, you track in 3D, and you will have the perfect positioning of your implant in this case. And this is done. You can see that by transparency if you want. And showing that, you will be able to see where is your implant, where is the nerve, in which tooth you want to replace, for which tooth you want to replace your bone, and this will be very simple to manage. In this case, you can do several things, and I'm going to show you how to manipulate the implants. So, you can go at the bottom of the, in the, in the middle of the implant, and you can move it around. You can go on top here and you can change the diameter, make it smaller or make it bigger. So no need to go to a list to do that, you can just go here. And also you can increase the length and when you go next less than 2 millimeters to the nerve, then it will show in yellow, in, in red, and this means that you should not go too, too far. So in this case, we're going to work on a 10 millimeter and 4 0.75 millimeters in diameter and the implant is selected and we can go forward to work uh, to fabricate a surgical guide.